scheme consists of um, works to the river over quite a large extent. It's over three kilometres in length, um, starting at the N11 uh, and the area on Silver Bridge, coming all the way down through Rehills Land and the Slang, which is quite an open area, um, although there's a significant amount of work that had to be done there. Uh, and then as you come down through the town itself, there's quite a significant urban area where there are a lot of access constraints and a lot of environmental constraints. And obviously the works have been carried out so as to minimise as much as possible the impact both on the, the people and the, the streets and the works and the traders in the area and also on the environment. There's significant environmental constraints um, all the way down through the town and right down to the river. What's left to be done now, we have to do some works to the railway bridge itself, which we're doing in conjunction with Irish Rail and they've been very cooperative. Further works just approaching the Irish Rail Bridge where the river has to be changed in direction that's uh, seek and piling along at the bottom of the golf course. In the coming weeks we'll be doing underpinning along that side on the Ravensdale Road side uh, then when it comes to the, rail, the Bray Bridge at the, where the road crosses over uh, we have to do some additional uh, diversion and ch training of the of the river uh, opposite the maltings. That again will be seek and pilot wall um, construction. We have to finish what we've started this summer, which is the works at Killarney Glen. Um, and then the big job, the big remaining job, is to lower the bed level of the river. There are a lot of environmental constraints, uh, as well as the um, physical constraints of the river and of the traffic and roads in access in. But the environmental constraints have been important for us to work around, mitigate against the, 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 the damages. And to that extent, I'd like to extend gratitude to the National Parks and Wildlife Services and to Inland Fisheries Ireland and to the members of the Environmental Monitory Committee who have been meeting on a regular basis uh, and both assisting us and keeping an eye on us to make sure that we all, we all do the work um, to minimising the impact on the environment as much as possible. When, when, when the scheme is finished in late 2016 um, the big impact or the big uh, visual impact will be the walls and the defences that they've been built. Um, that'll all be mitigated of course with uh, the walls are being done as much as possible in masonry to make them look well. Um, there will be a lot of landscaping and tree planting done uh, after, after the, 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 those works are finished. The riverbed will be generally lower, um, but a lot of the wildlife will ha, has remained in the, in the area where we're working. Indeed, some of the swans still come up into the area where we're working during the day. Overall impact will be we still have a very fine uh, river going through the town, a very good uh, amenity value to that, comfort at knowing that the, in the event of a 100 year return period event, uh, the town will be protected from the river itself. Uh, and that context should be noted that Hurricane Charlie was a 30 year return period event. So uh, when this game is finished, uh, we'll have protection against uh, um, uh, an event that will be stretched beyond anybody any of our lifetimes. We've had a lot of cooperation and help from the OPW in their funding of the scheme um, and also in their, their assistance in the design and in the day-to-day -day managing of the project. Uh, they've been very, very helpful. But also the, the people, in particular the people around People's Park and in the lower Dargal area um, have put up with the construction work for a number of years and unfortunately it'll be a little bit longer before we're finished. But uh, that will all pale into insignificance um, when the scheme is finished and when we see the benefits, uh, when people can start uh, enjoying their houses and enjoying the People's Park and places that are around the town uh, without the risk, without the, the, the concern about the flooding. Uh, if people want to get more information they can log on to Bray.ie and look for Our Town, Our River and we, we have regular updates there uh, in terms of the progress of the scheme and the progress of the project. Uh, we also update uh, Bray Municipal District, uh, Wicklow County Council's Twitter feed and Facebook page uh, on a regular basis with uh, updates on uh, traffic issues and also the progress of the scheme as we get it go along. Mm -hmm.